Hey fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what exactly went through your person's mind the last time that they saw you, okay? So what did they feel? What was going through their mind? This is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Otherwise, guys, take a moment, hold a vision of your special person, your romantic energy, you know, stay focused on them here, and let's try and see if we can pick up exactly what went through their mind on the last time that you guys saw one another. Okay, interesting. Okay, bottom of the deck, you have temperance here. Uh, you need to wait it out. I feel like the outcome of this situation is a little bit unpredictable. Um, or if you're waiting for some sort of... If you're waiting on an answer from them, if you're... If you're waiting for a response, answer, communication, or even if you're just waiting for a sign of some sort, I don't think it's come to you just yet. I think you need to wait it out a little bit longer is the message that I get. So the last time that the two of you had seen each other, I feel like there was a lot that was going on with them. And, you know, the Ace of Cups is a very emotionally scattered energy. So to me, it feels like your person was really struggling to identify with what it is that they're feeling for you or what they should be feeling for you, because it does feel like there may be someone else in the picture. So uh, maybe this is someone, you know, there's a lot of different messages that are coming up here. And I feel like there's the situation isn't exactly what you know it to be. I feel like it's a little bit complex. I don't know that you know the truth of the situation. I don't think that your person is being entirely honest with you. Like for some of you, you are dealing in a third party situation, okay? Whether you realize it or not, like um, your person may be involved with someone else and they may have shared this with you, but I feel like they may have also told you that they're going to leave this person and pursue a relationship with you, but they haven't done that, have they? And notice how they keep saying it again and again. Um doesn't feel like they have the courage to act on it though so it feels like they still it feels like they're in limbo land like they still have feelings for someone else here the ex or their current partner but they also have feelings or an attraction towards you and it feels like they kind of have one they want to have their cake and eat it too so the last time that they saw you i do feel like they were open and vulnerable to an extent and I don't know if there were some things that they might have said or done here that may have hurt you. For some of you, this is someone who has betrayed you. Okay, they have made, they maybe have broken your trust. And it might be really hard in the past, once before. Or maybe this is from a like previous relationship. Maybe you've had your trust broken previously. And I, just, I get someone finding it very hard to trust again. Finding it very hard to either trust the specific energy. Because they may be prone to telling lies or fabricating lies. Or you're finding it really hard to trust someone because, you know, you've had your trust broken in the past. That's coming up very strongly. Um, a third party situation is also coming up strongly and it feels like, you know, three is a bit of a crowded number here. It doesn't feel like it's just two energies here. If they aren't necessarily involved with someone else, it feels like they're still, either they may still be in contact with the ex and even though there may not be a lot of feelings there, it just feels like... It, they're not moving on from the ex because of this contact that they still keep with each other. I feel like that's what's preventing them from moving on, moving forward, and also from moving forward in your connection. The other thing is there could still be residual emotions that still linger from a previous relationship. So, for instance, they may still be hurt, hurting, angry, bitter, resentful here from the previous relationship they haven't healed. They may still be in the like the grieving process, the grieving stage, and they haven't healed from those emotions, and that's surfacing, that's coming up, and they may be acting out in ways here, 
okay, in ways that are pushing you away purely because they have a, a lot of emotions going on. They were very cold and distant, right? You felt like they were very, like they emitted this very cold air or cold energy towards you. They were very short, very brief. I feel like they don't necessarily know what's going on with them. I feel like there's a lot of guilt in their energy. They carry a lot of guilt and maybe it's because this person has been dishonest and disloyal with you. Maybe it's because this person isn't being truthful with you. Maybe it's because they just don't know. Maybe they feel shameful. Maybe they feel guilty for the way that they've conducted themselves. And look, maybe they haven't necessarily been... You know, the Seven of Swords energy of mental deception and trickery. Maybe the deceit lies with your energy. Maybe you're telling yourself something that you want to hear rather than, you know, what's really playing out here. Maybe you're being the deceitful one. I'm not saying that you're deceiving your person, but maybe you're deceiving yourself here in the process. And maybe you're telling yourself a narrative that you want to hear rather than what's really going on here. There's a lot of pain, okay? A lot of swords, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of emotions, a lot of... I, I see someone crying. I see a lot of tears here. I don't know if it's you, if, you know, this person has driven you to tears and just driven you to emotional exhaustion and fatigue. I don't know if it's them here. It could, it could be the both of you. It just feels like someone is so torn, someone is so confused, their energy is a bit scattered all over the place. They are attracted to you and it feels like a part of them does really want to lean in towards this connection that you have with one another but it also feels like they're a bit torn because it feels like they're kind of they say one thing and then act another it just feels like your person needs to get very clear about what it is or who it is that they want because it feels like they've and maybe this is someone who's broken and betrayed your trust and maybe you don't want this person back and maybe this person is someone who's trying to now fight for your attention and win you over but be careful because i see patterns i see patterns in this um in this person's energy and therefore if they do come back around it's very likely that they're going to repeat those patterns because hey people are creatures of habits so j just be careful there is all i'm saying um what you're going through this period of uncertainty or not knowing it, it's going to work itself out you can't rush this process as much as you want to skip over this part you can't because it just feels like you're wanting questions, I mean, you have questions and you're wanting answers to these questions and you want clarity and you want certainty and you're not getting it from this person. Perhaps you can give the answers or you can give yourself the clarity that you seek and perhaps all along the answers laid with you and not with your person's energy. Maybe, just maybe, you have given this person too much power over your happiness and your emotions. Could that be for some of you? Because it feels like this person has a strong hold of you. You know, this third party situation. If you, you, and some of you, you did know. You knew what this was before you became a part of it. I know that's very blunt, but you knew what this was before you became a part of it. They didn't change then. They're not about to change now. I know it's so blunt, I know. But you did. You knew exactly what this was before you became a part of it. And you also knew that three is a crowded number. So now it just feels like there's a lot happening. But the message, I still keep getting the message of. And notice how beneath that you have the Knight of Swords here. I mean, it all just, look at that. It all just makes sense. You know, be patient. Because I feel like something here is working itself out. I'm not saying that it's, the outcome is going to be favorable. Okay, I'm just saying that. Something here is, is this, it's coming to a resolution. Wait it out is what I'm seeing. Don't rush. Don't make any impulsive or, or um, sorry, aggressive or rash decisions here. Two of swords here. You're not seeing something, okay? The blindfold that's draped across her eyes. You're either not seeing something about the situation. You're missing the information. You're missing out on the truth. If something is adding is not adding up, maybe it's because the truth is being left out of the equation. Make sure you're seeing, you know, you have all the information that you need before you make a decision. Also, this is about, you know, um, it feels like someone is stuck between two very different people or two very different, having to choose between two very different choices and, you know, they're at a crossroads. They don't know where to go here. The lover's card, yes, a very strong presence of a romantic energy, but 
you know the lover's card can also be love that lust sorry that uh, masquerades and disguises itself as love and you know the lover's card is also about choices so someone needs to make a choice but they're delaying their decision why because they're not sure have you ever been so unsure about something or someone that you couldn't commit to a decision yeah that's what they're feeling and also, you know, you've got the Lover's Triangle. Three is a crowded number. I'm telling you, the outcome of this situation is not yet known. Why? Because it's being veiled by um, a haziness or a fogginess. It's hard to, the, even the cards are struggling to predict what will happen in the near future. But you do need to wait it out because something's going to come to the surface, a truth is going to be revealed, they will have clarity or you will have clarity or a decision is going to be made. Hangman, it is a period of um, stagnation and not a lot of movement here, but sometimes not taking action is the best cause of action. Again, we've come full circle, wait it out because there's something that's emerging here. And you know, Ace of Wands there, there's a new beginning that's coming from all of this, whether it means you you are going to have your new beginning here with this person just you and them no other, no third wheel here um or you're going to have a new beginning here you're cutting ties okay severing ties here with all these swords that have come up for you and you're embracing a new beginning here new love new beginning new chapter all right guys so these are your messages so thanks for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye for now